on. Yes, the trophy is a cannon on the line as we present to you Major League Soccer this afternoon from Frisco, Texas, and Pizza Hut Park in FC Dallas and the Houston Dynamo. Breck Shea, what else stands out? Well, they're going back to their familiar 4-1, 4-1. We're going to keep an eye on, like we said, with Breck Shea and Jackson out wide. But this is a team that needs goals, and that goals need to come from a guy up top, Michael Santos. All right, 180 minutes without a goal, so what do they need to do? Well, the big key to a 4-4-2, they've been leaking a lot of goals. With fourth is Cameron, a versatile player back in the center back. Mark, I mean, Brian Ching comes up up top, and he's going to look for help from Kalen Carr and Danny Cruz. Still looking for their first road win, believe it or not, to do that. Honored to know him. He was a difference maker. We certainly aren't going to forget him. In fact, as I said to somebody today, the world could use a few more Bobby Ryans. That, I'd have to concede a throw in. Well, instead, Brett Shea has to get back and support. Brad Davis tripped just outside the box. Still an opportunity here. The shot is saved as Kevin Hartman is tested as Luis Camargo, the Brazilian, a recent acquisition for the Houston Dynamo, test Kevin Hartman. Well, Kevin Hartman doing what he's done all season, coming up big early in the game. It looked like Benitez was trying to carry it out. Game winner by Bobby Warshaw in the 3-2 whatever sport in Kansas City. Well, Jackson knifing through. Jackson! Kelly Hall has to make the save. Now, let see Dallas. Again, challenge with escorting it to safety. Dan Cruz, though, trying to win it. Instead, Benitez, the cool customer, playing it high to Mike Santos. Again, Jackson making a run. Jackson, a little flick to Breck Shea. Back for Jackson, the header to Shea. Shea now, looking to Jackson. Jackson! The same tally hole! Jackson is trying everything to make something happen. He truly is, and with this replay, I'm sure you're going to look at one of the most awkward <laughs> 1v1 slash switching it over. Jackson doing whatever he can to control that ball, tries to put it far post, but it's tally. Coming up big for the second time here in the first 15 minutes for the Houston Dynamo. Jackson, seven goals in all competitions, three goals. DC United win that title. Hemmler now for Breck Shea. Hey, no marking. Shea gets it off. Hey, no did everything he could to disrupt Breck Shea. Breck Shea is playing with a lot of confidence, you see here, fighting off the foul, hitting the ball through the back post, and it's. Yes, tally again for the three, third big stop of the game. Now, ball flighted and looking for Jackson. Oh, that's one called Santos off the crossbar. Santos was given a gift, but had to react quickly, did well to get it on frame. Well, in a game that's had just about everything in the first 15 minutes, is Santos wide open. Daniel Hernandez. You know his wonderful service. And what he is capable of. Hernandez now sending this in. Hemelo got up for it. It's high in the air. Tally all lunges at it. Jacob sent it to the net. But no goal. Waved off. The whistle before Jacobson. It does look like Ricardo Salazar was none too happy with George John here coming in late, jumps into. Don't know if I necessarily agree with that, Dave, that call. Does look like George John is looking for Tally Hall, but does come up clean. Tally Hall That's doesn't there. do a good yeah. job. I, I yeah. just don't see it there, Dave. Well, Jacobson, that would have been his second goal in this series. He almost... Boswell's position dead center in that box is... Dynamo with some trees. Kevin Hartman, oh, instead, Hano ends up getting the ball that slipped through Hartman. Well, a good service by Brad Davis. Quite frankly, I think it's Kevin Hartman looking directly into the sun. Sunshine, yes. A couple good runs Danny Cruz. the last couple of weeks. Had a fine performance against San Jose last weekend and was rewarded. Jackson turns. He was almost rewarded. 
university days. He has a lot of confidence in Ugo at a right back position. So Ugo goes to right back. So as we, I think we were both thinking that maybe they'll do Bobby and Castillo, but this is Jackson from the Chavez header. Jackson, the shot! Oh my goodness! A goal kick for Houston, and it is not for lack of work rate this afternoon for that man. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to make the point yet again. Another opportunity goes to the wayside. Jackson not finding the net. Doing a great job, creative good job by Chavez to find him with, with Benitez marking. Watson. Fancy clip into the box. Instead, now Jackson slaloming through midfield. Jackson! Still Jackson! As he got around Cameron. Jackson! Great anything that he can to help his Houston Dynamo on the road, but FC Dallas here with a corner kick. Trying desperately to get one in the back of the net. Daniel Cruz, Jacobson is able to head it. It's off the crossbar. The effort by George Sean. Can you believe it? It's just not going in. Brad Davis will send this in. Clark sends it right back at Harvard. He makes the save. Colin Clark looking to be a hero again. That'll jar your preserves. You're right. He was yeah. the one that equalized to make it 2 2 in the first meeting between these teams. What a phenomenal strike. As solid as they come, Colin Clark with just three minutes remaining, if I'm not mistaken. Ties it up 2 2 in the two. first leg. Davis will send it. And it's in the net goal. Jeff Cameron has scored. And Houston has stunned FC Dallas. It's Mr. Versatile, Jeff Cameron coming on the end of that one. With a great finish here in the 88th minute. Fifth goal of the season for Jeff Cameron. No surprise here. An incredible service by Brad Davis. Finds Cameron, who beats Andrew Jacobson to the ball. It's been a reoccurring theme, unfortunately, for FC Dallas over the last couple weeks, almost month. Leaking those goals up. We talked about him. To send this in. Out swinger. Stewart keeps alive. Jackson now. And that's it. Jackson will not be able to offer the cross. And despite the fight, the spirit, FC Dallas, their first three-game losing streak in two years.